Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive and this time we are gonna check out the carrier mode. It's been out a little bit but this time I'm gonna check it out. So you guys can see there is a disclaimer saying present gameplay offers just a taste of what's to come. Then we have Conquer Challenge to earn money and rewards. That is my favorite part. Then we have vehicle customization is under heavy development. So that means this is an early access in the early access game so this is going to be a little bit buggy and at the same time it might crash the game or we might face some issues you guys might notice i'm not in my tutorial menu because i had few issues with my tutorial uh, i'm okay with that totally because this is an early access uh, after the after the part of going to the uh, gas station uh, my tutorial menu doesn't work perfectly fine so i just skip that part so let's get into the carrier mode and let's see what we can do in this carrier and also let's see what is going to be our first car so let's go to the next page so it says we can monitor our progress and at the same time we can uh, boost our gameplay knowledge that means we can uh, learn different kind of stuff by uh, they add, they are adding a different type of things to the game in every update so that's a good thing uh, keep tabs on milestones and unlock more so we have my milestones but they haven't been i think at you uh, haven't been achievement in the steam uh, currently all right let's play so okay let's go to our uh, dealership and let's see what we have actually these guys uh, released the vr update you guys might know uh, know about that uh, with the with this update uh, latest update it they delivered the vr as well imagine playing BMNG Drive as a fully complete game with VR and going here and there like a free roam uh, in first person and buying cars that is going to be so much awesome all right by the way uh, this is just a prompt so you guys can see it's uh, loading up the first three cars we can buy but imagine we can go into the uh, into that doing test runs and uh, other things I guess we can do uh, test runs because it says inspect vehicle but currently I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and I currently know a good car because I have been playing a little bit so I can easily uh, remove the Corvette from here it's a front wheel drive it's a little bit old less on power so I'm just stuck with the uh, 1990 200 BX and 130,000 miles and then I have the uh, German tech it's the ETK I series I guess um, it's capital I or simply I don't know I guess I series 2400 IX it has 177,000 uh, miles but it's an all-wheel drive for our for, as our first car it's good to have four-wheel drive I really like Japanese cars and I'm a huge fanboy of the JDM culture but currently I had to go with this one all right I'm gonna go with this one comment down below what you guys should uh, like to pick if you guys were playing in this all right this is the funny funniest part because the car was 6,700 50 uh, bmg bucks as i think it has a dealership fee right no problem then we go uh, get into the sales tax that is 490.58 cents i don't know why they added the cents part but it perfectly looks like a real real life situation all right that's it let's purchase the car all right do you want to purchase this vehicle yes i do right nice cinematics I really like this all right drive away let's press up right all right let's oh damn that guy has a good body kit for this by the way uh, our garage is basically in front of the car dealership that is convenient I guess right We just came to our garage let's open the garage you guys can see this is my currently uh, using vehicle current currently uh, I added in this first slot it says the values this and uh, <laughs> sorry about this guys it says in garage and also uh, I can set it as favorite basically I'm gonna set it as favorite it's gonna be easy and you guys might uh, notice if we do some damage if we uh, and also we get into some kind of uh, what is called a mission or a, a race it doesn't 
re uh, what is called reset the car and repair the damage automatically we have to take it back to the garage and repair it so that's been a fun part and uh, let me show you guys the awesome thing all right i i can easily get out and go to our laptop and click on use computer then we can purchase parts so basically i can click on all parts currently keep this on mind this is an early access and they are just trying it on and normally nobody can access the carrier mod but if you guys spam on it a few more times it's gonna pop up a window saying you are going into the carry mod it is under development so you guys can take the risk and get into that but there is a bunch of different bugs and things it might crash the game so yep it's a little bit of pain in the butt but i really like a game like this all right so we can go to the body kit and i really like if we had the option to like uh what is called the preview it on like without clicking on anything like i can easily like, click on the install button and you guys can see the body kit change but i can easily remove that right here but without going through that hassle if we had the uh, ability to th see things and also you guys might notice if we uh, do some changes the car resets with the uh, added newest part if we open the hood uh, let me show you guys basically what i'm talking about right okay and uh let's say we are gonna change what let's go to the engine sorry that's serving the engine uh, where's the intake Put intake. All right, here is the intake, so I can add the. Uh, yes, let's install this spot intake. All right, see, that's reset the car. It's uh, switch up everything to the uh, default position. Because of that, I can't see what is happening inside of the car. So that's the sad part. But I'm gonna purchase this actually, and that thing also <laughs> get with some uh, tax as well and yeah that's basically it and other thing i want to show you guys is let's go to the computer and let's see if we have the option to purchase the vehicles All right let's go and you guys might notice that it was basically first class but keep in mind you guys can see there is few cars without the vendla cars like modded vehicles see there's the camry police actually that's gonna be fun thing and there's the uh, Ford Mustang SN95. Um, <laughs> sorry about this, guys. See the price? What the fuck? Damn, if I had this chance in real life, this is gonna be so much fun. Um, it says value is 0 0.24 cents. So that is 24 cents in game currency. And there's the Land Cruiser. Uh, 100 VX. I did play a little bit of this game, but I don't think I can add mod vehicle. I can buy them, but I have issues with like adding it as my personal vehicle. So it just regist registers as a normal vehicle. So for now, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit here and there without buying anything. Damn, this Subaru. Oh man, I really like that. Okay. And also, if we had the chance to like put the parts right, like without clicking on buttons, like buy them, we'd get delivered and then uh, install the parts. That's going to be so much fun. But that's enough of talking. Let's get into the driving. And let's do some challenges, actually. All right. Which one should I do first? So let's see, let's go to race. Let's do a race first. All right, the basic race. Okay, uh, let's set the route. All right, see you guys in the race. All right, we are uh, really close to our location. Right here, this is the race. And I was uh, thinking about this actually uh, having like this kind of a challenge, like purpose to build a car, you have to grind and get money. In BMG Drive, that is gonna so much fun because the crashing damage is feels so much realistic, and you guys have to be really careful while going here and there. And if they added, I didn't face any kind of policy yet, but if they added like police, like for the red light violations or parking, 
then they do little kind of damages according to your uh, uh, current what is to call a crime i guess so that's going to be a fun part all right let's do this currently i can't change any mission settings so it's locked up use a uh, proposed vehicle yes it's actually in uh, race sorry it's actually set up and uh, race count is two i guess races sorry then we have the uh, mission progress we have to finish the challenge one star finish uh, second or better i guess that's first uh, two stars then f achieve first three three stars then bonus stars win the race under uh, 1.5 minutes sorry one uh, one minute and five seconds and then complete the race in undamaged or lightly damaged vehicle so let's give it a try and let's see how it goes okay we have a baby blue color corvette uh, that is basically a theme color of what is called the movies uh, channel and we have some basic uh, information right here you can flip your car upright three times and we can reset it to the last checkpoint three times so yeah for now i'm gonna uh, drive with the first person camera i really like the first person camera by the way, I'm planning on uh, getting a VR headset as well as a racing steering wheel for the uh, sim racing setup. So let me know what you guys think. Which one is the best? <gasps> I crashed. No. Damn. I guess uh, lightly damaged means that. Okay. Oh, what the hell? What is his problem? <laughs> All right, I'm going to restart this mission and give it another try. That guy didn't check on his side mirrors. Fuck him. All right. Hey. All right. No damage right there. I feel like I'm a little bit faster than him. Right, uh, actually it would be great if these cars has some ABS. Oh damn, that was a close one. I think I uh, turned into the right section. No, don't crash, don't crash. Try without any damage. Oh shit, that is almost a uh, crash, alright. Yes! I finished the race! Um, sad part, sad, <laughs> sorry about that muddy English. Sad part is, uh, it says we could get a bonus uh, star for one minute, under one minute and five seconds of race, but I was actually little over 1 minute and 5 seconds you guys can see it is 1 minute and 5 seconds and 366 milliseconds so that's the sad part but i got the all the three stars and uh, one bonus star all right let's continue at the challenge start okay so let's see what do we have as other missions or other things so you guys might be able to see things right here we have racing uh things and i guess that is called the motorsport something let me show you guys see right here these things has their own levels it's for the motorsport then the laborer that means you do some kind of deliveries then is specialized that is basically police chasers and then adventure i guess there is some kind of uh what is called the stunts or things okay so let's get into the uh map and let's see what kind of challenges we have we done a race so i'm thinking not going there back again and we could do a, a delivery mission so there is a one in the dark 
there's a trailer intro i'm not gonna do that uh i have played enough and suffered enough in uh euro truck simulator and by the way if you guys like to see other different games um sh let me know in the comment below because I, i'm literally playing any kind of games with a car or wheels and engine right unpaid fine so i think i'm the guy who is yeah, it says the chase. So in this one, I'm the guy who's chasing. This one, I'm the guy who's escaping. And there's a little bit of stunts and other things. So yeah, let's do a... What is it called? Um, some police chase, actually. Where is that? Seriously, do I have to go right there? Damn. Okay, anyway, let's go there and let's see what is the challenge. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, um little bit of a sad news because this is so realistic right now because I have to pay to uh, modify or re repair my vehicle. I hit a little bit of a curve right there. I, um, yes, I ripped off the front bumper clean and it took out the uh, little bit of a part of the fender, uh, passenger side fender and the, uh, my turning lights, signal lights. Hopefully no damage in the back. Uh, rear bumper is a little bit of a, little bit of a bad shape. That is a, uh, not a big deal. Uh, hopefully these things work yep all right i don't know how much it's gonna cost me because last time i was playing i just broke these uh these light right here and it cost me 500 bucks right for this old car okay uh that's enough of sad news let's get back in the journey i just noticed something my uh wheel element is gone at the moment it's bent up a little bit i think the uh, toe in something is gone, uh, bent, or the tire rods, I have no idea what happened. Alright, I damaged my doors as well, this is gonna cost me so bad, I'm pretty much sure about that. Alright, we just came to our place. Okay, we have two challenges. I can, uh, what is called the, uh, be the police, or I can be the bad guy. Um, let's see, I can't change anything, traffic enable, la la la. What should I do? Should I be the police? Yeah, that's gonna be fine because I don't have to pay for anything, and legally I can smash into him and trash his car, so that's actually a fun part of. Uh, be fun fun part of being police all right all right nice cinematic right let's press start okay arrest the suspect by making him mr puns only uh one countdown undamaged or lightly damaged okay he already crashed into vehicles, so that's not my uh, fault. Seriously? Alright, I get a uh, one bonus star, it's slightly damaged, but I reversed into him, so that's cancelled the part of uh, arrest the suspect by making them stop only once okay oh they tried to escape right so but that that uh, chase actually lasted only 27 seconds so that's sad hello guys i'm back again and i'm having the worst day possible because I just faced into a what is called issue, little bit of issue after the uh, police chase, and I face a black screen. So 
no worries it's just an early access game so i came back load up the game i had the save file you guys can see right here then i talked to the mic uh, for like a minute or something and it was muted so yep sometimes shit happens okay currently i uh, decided to repair my vehicle and you guys might notice it has a quick repair and a normal repair normal repair take one minute of our time and it only took 500 uh, beam bugs and i choose my vehicle i didn't able to see where it was so i can easily uh, pop it out of right here and in the quick repair you guys can use your uh, bone sisters let me show you guys right here i have two bone sisters or you guys can pay extra 500 fee but i think it doesn't work that much you guys can easily wait one minute and thanks to the developers again they have done an amazing job because beam engine was like a sandbox game you have all the freedom you can spawn any car you like you can crash them reset them anywhere you like but with this carrier mod updates and it's awesome because i have to grind to update this shit box right now and i'm a little bit of a funny guy too uh no, i'm not a funny guy i like this kind of funny things sorry about that and it's so much awesome to uh, drive around with shit box and upgrade it to become ultimate uh, racing machine so yeah right now i'm in real life i'm also having my dad's daily drive um uh, honda fit gp5 2014 model it's almost uh, nine years old and yeah it's fun actually uh, i'm currently rebuild trying to rebuild it in real life but i have zero money that's the sad part also trying to uh, get into sim racing as well and i'm also doing some different kind of like drift racing games everything about racing or driving games in this channel so let me know what kind of games you guys like to see all right that's uh my vehicle let me move it a little bit of in front and let's check if we might be able to like buy another car and save it as our own earlier before the recording i had few issues with uh buying a mod modded vehicle because it doesn't register as my own and it registers as like someone else's so i can't save it on my vehicles so first i'm gonna buy the cheapest cheapest car possible if it is a mod or not then i'm gonna buy a vanilla vehicle like default vehicle let's see uh what's it going to be right i have 9000 uh, credits so yeah i'm gonna keep the credit for a car like a vanilla car and i'm gonna buy the cheapest vehicle possibly a mod right like this to be honest see it's it doesn't even have a picture for that and it cost 646 uh, beam bucks but i'm not gonna pay that much and the, how the fuck the piccolino is almost actually it's worth more than my uh, etk i series right and it's 1966 44 horsepower and 89 miles and it's rebuild right what the hell all right let's check for another cheap vehicle right the camry is the one that is basically working and uh at the cheap price limit because i don't trust this goal what the hell level that is right um yes it's sunburst actually that's a fun card build around because it definitely has some parts and uh, the racing category as well uh, more than the etk i series but i just want to buy a cheap what is called a mod vehicle all right right now i'm gonna face wait can't i buy these things what the hell all right i can buy these things all right give me seconds guys uh because now it doesn't have any kind of picture right now right right here uh the 2005 land cruiser i mean it means i'm taking a taxi to that place and buy it right right i think 
and these vehicles uh, automatically popped up in my garage there's the uh, Volkswagen T-Cross damn this century is so pricey it's 96,000 and it's brand new as well right any cheap vehicle nope so I have to go with that Land Cruiser so yeah I'm gonna take a taxi to that place I think that is what it mean I clicked on the taxi nothing happening all right let's give it a little bit of time oh shit okay I popped on popped on a, a random car park actually if there was like I don't need people to be interacted but there's a guy watching us and if that that kind of feeling uh, we had that's gonna be fun all right is this a taxi or is this my own vehicle oh sh okay give me a few minutes guys I'm gonna I'm trying to drive it back to my place and let's see if that is my own vehicle or not Oh shit, I actually can purchase it. Alright, purchase info. Uh, 2181. Uh, yeah. No, no worries, no worries. I'm gonna buy that. I need an off road as well because uh, in real life, I'm also like to have a uh, SUV or off roader. Alright, because I need these vehicles to tow up uh, stuff if I'm building a race car. So, yeah. Right. This thing is not bad and I just bought it so definitely game should uh, register it as my own vehicle if not I'm in a little bit of oh she almost crashed I didn't pay up my attention so they just literally uh, giving me the right way to take the road see if I knew any better I should take that Okay, um, that's enough of talking. See you guys once I reach my garage. Alright, I'm back to my place and let's see if this vehicle is registered as mine or did I waste 2000 bucks. Yes! I just, uh, what is called, bought another vehicle. I almost spent 10k on those uh, these two vehicles. And I'm really happy about that. So basically, I'm gonna save it before I do anything stupid. And I don't need to buy another Venla vehicle because this thing is already added as my secondary vehicle. So, yes, that is nice. I'm gonna park it right here because this is uh, going to be my daily driven vehicle. And uh, the vehicle I'm gonna tow up my personal vehicles. Actually, can I buy the trailers in this game? Because if that is a thing it's gonna be so much fun all right uh, I guess uh, that's enough of talking and that is enough for today's video let me get out of the vehicle first let me turn this off all right and that is my first vehicle and I'm trying to build that as a track gear machine or a drift car I have no idea currently or a street or like a street racer or a show car i have no idea let me comment uh, let me know and comment down your guys thoughts in the comment uh, section and let's see what kind of a car can we build let's go to the computer again and let's see i have two fucking vehicles all right that is good to know i can buy five vehicles currently i don't need any more and one is a mo uh, modded vehicle another one is a vanilla vehicle like a default one all right i guess that is enough and i'm gonna save it again all right so this is what i think about the carry update and the carry mod this is awesome and i mean this is awesome and for me personally this is better than Forza horizon 5 story mod because it's just talking about another stuff blah 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 this is pure grinding just like in real life if you anyone have the chance of like working on a real car you guys know what what kind of a challenge you guys have to go through do a job or do anything else 
to purchase your cars and they have their own, own inventory to keep your other parts in stock if you need you guys can buy and sell the cars in next episode i'm trying to like take some profit by buying cars and selling them so let's see how it goes and also i'm planning on buying a trailer if it is possible and let's start grinding save some money let's see where this is going i love this update i can't stress this enough and i can't wait to see the final complete version of this game with vr and my once i bought the vr and uh, sim racing setup this is gonna be so so much awesome and i hope they add different things and awesome things uh, in uh, coming up updates so yeah let's see how it goes currently i am happy with these mods face some issues tutorial uh, mod doesn't work after the gas station sometimes after missions it's black out so yes that's happened but they give us the warning we have the responsibility and we are responsible for taking in action to going into the carry mod because this isn't a finished product so yes i'm happy with the update and all these things with the carry mod so let's see how our journey goes in the carry mod of beam and g drive and thank you guys again for joining in see you guys in the next one until then peace out bye bye